Well, the Hyundai Grand, which is a qualifying event for the uh, Chariots of Fire. With the way the odds are in favour, don't stop dreaming. There's a brilliant Kiwi, trained by Nathan and Mark Purden. Joining me is Brooke Wilkins, who's here in Aussie, looking after the horse. Well, well good to catch up with you, and good to catch up with you on a winning note with this brilliant Kiwi, don't stop dreaming. Congratulations on the win. Yeah, he's such a lovely horse, and it was good to get that win out of the way. What a brilliant drive by Jack Callaghan. Mark would have been very proud of that particular performance. Yeah, there was probably a little bit of pressure on Jack tonight, and um, he did a superb job, and yeah, he should be proud of himself. Yeah, from the 1-1, you must have been very happy with the way things had panned out. Yeah, he's such a good little sit sprinter, and um, you know, I think his best attribute is how fast he is, so when he had that position, um, I thought he was in a good spot. Brooke, I was surprised looking at him close up. He's a very compact fella. Yeah, he's only small and he's very compact, so um, he had a, probably a bit of a condition on him tonight, so I'm sure he'll tighten up in three weeks' time. Brooke, 27-3, 29-6, 27, and they zipped home in 26-6. How was he at the end of the uh, 1609? Yeah, well, Jack sort of said he, he did it quite easy, so that's um, quite promising, but his first look around the track, and I'm sure he'll improve off that. And it looks like Menegal is just going to be an ideal racing circuit for him. Yeah, for sure. Like um, He's just so fast, and that long straight suits him. The effort behind Leap to Fame, two starts ago now, it was just absolutely superb. Yeah, he got so close to such a great horse, so we were really proud of him. How does he pull up as far as this race is concerned? Um, he seems bright enough back in his stall now, so um, we'll just see how he is tomorrow and go from there. He certainly likes being in the fight. 19 starts now, 13 wins, 5 placings. Only won an unplaced run, that was a fourth. Yeah, yeah, he's got such a good record now, and um, yeah, he's just a great little horse. What an exciting time it is for you, Brooke, being in charge of such a powerful stable, one of the all-time great stables, Mark, and now with his son, Nathan. A wonderful experience. Yeah, it has been great. I'm really happy and glad of myself that I went over there, and um, it's a bit of pressure sort of letting them, um, letting me in charge over here, but, um, yeah, it's been good. Enjoying yourself back here on uh, familiar ground? Yeah, it's been good to catch up with family and friends, yeah. What a wonderful journey you've been on, of course, learning from your dad, David. We heard David's story a few weeks ago and he spoke very highly, very proudly about what you've achieved. But from moving on from dad, then going to Emma Stewart and Clayton Tonkin, then on to the Perdens, this has just been one outstanding journey. Yeah, it sure has been. It's something that I always wanted to do was sort of go out and travel. And um, yeah, I've been very fortunate to work for the stables that I have. What have you enjoyed so far and learnt the most from working with Mark and Nathan? Uh, Mark's very unpredictable, you sort of don't know what he's going to do from one day to the next but um, it's very interesting to watch him work and he's such a great horseman. Well don't stop dreaming, as we've mentioned now, qualifies for the Chariots of Fire. Is Mark arriving with any other horses? Although Jack would be very happy just keep wearing those famous colours. Yeah, I think Jack might um, cancel his visa if he could but um, there's a little three-year-old gelding coming over for the derby, uh, We Walk By Faith. Well Brooks, been great to catch up with you, particularly on a winning night and in charge of a horse that's just so exciting. Thank you.